Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of OneNote Worthy Life, and in this video I'm going to show you the picture menu in OneNote. This is a menu that comes up when you right-click on an image you have, an insert, have inserted already into OneNote, and we'll go through all eight options in order. Now, if you're new here, I'm an avid OneNote fan, and aside from being a YouTube creator, I'm also a blogger at OneNoteWorthyLife.com, and I host the largest OneNote group on Facebook, which is the OneNote Bullet Journal group. Let's get into the picture menu. So the first thing I have done, I'm going to just move this up a little here. The first thing I've done is to create this original image to use for our demonstration. And I'm going to make a copy of this so that you can see how each menu item in the picture menu changes the original. So I'm going to right click on this, click on copy, and I'm going to come up here to my upper right and paste it so we have two copies of the same image. And just as a note, the copy command is not in the picture menu. I will show you that in a minute. And I'll leave this original image down here on the lower left unchanged so that you have something to compare to. Um, so when I right click on this, you can see it brings up some options. And the second one is this copy command that I just used. But at the bottom, we have the picture menu. And you can see that there are eight options here, and I'm just going to run through them right in order. So the first one is rotate right 90 degrees. And you can see it rotated it um, to the right or clockwise. I'm going to come up here to my home menu, and this backwards pointing arrow undoes whatever I just did. So I'm going to undo it and right click back into the picture menu onto option number two. Rotate left, you can probably guess it will do the exact opposite, which is rotate it to the left or counterclockwise. Again, I'm coming back to the home menu, clicking this backwards arrow to undo, and I'm going to move into the next option. So now we have flip horizontal, and I'm going to go ahead and click that. And you can see that it kind of flipped it, um, like it took the arrow and rotated it around, so we're now looking at kind of the back of it. That was why I typed a word on this original image, so you can see like the capital O is at the left-hand side in the original, and now it's on the right. And in the original, the arrow is pointing toward the, the right, and now it's pointing toward the left. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that, go into the next option. So the next option is to flip vertical, and you can probably guess what this will do. But it's kind of upside down now, so it flipped it from top to bottom. Undo that, back into the menu. Um, now we have Alt Text, and what this does is it allows you to create... Um, a title and description of what this visual is. And I went to Microsoft Microsoft's page to find out exactly how they define this. And they described it as a way to provide descriptions of visual content in your notes. These descriptions can provide important context to people with visual or cognitive impairments. So if you were working in an environment where maybe someone who couldn't see your images uh, for some reason, but needed to know what they were, you could describe the images so that they would know. So I'm going to go ahead and put a title in here. It's called Arrow. Oops. And I'm just going to click Done. Okay. Back into the picture menu. Our next option is called uh, Set Picture as Background. And before we do that, I'm going to show you some things about working with images in OneNote and how they can move around. Okay. So uh, I'm going to come back here to my original, and I'm going to start uh, typing on top of it. And you can see each time I type a line and click Enter, it's moving that image down. So if we want the image to um, stay put, we can set it as background. So I'm going to uh, back into the picture menu. I'm going to set the picture as background, and now you can see that as I'm typing and clicking Enter, nothing happens. And in fact, I can type right, um, right over my image. So this is fun, like if you wanted to do some pretty planning, or you wanted to use digital stickers, or if you even wanted to put in an image of, say, like a post-it note that you wanted to write on or something like that, um, that's when that really can come in handy. So to continue on with our demonstration, I am going to um, unselect this as background. So I'm going to right click. You can see here it says set picture as background. So I'm going to click that again. And now my picture is no longer set as background. 
So back into our picture menu, we have two more to go. We have keyboard resize and keyboard move. Um, and before we get into keyboard resize, I want to just show you that normally when I'm working with an image, if I want to resize it, if I drag from the corner, it makes just the whole image bigger. I'm going to undo that. If I drag from a side, it just pull it pulls it along that one dimension. So in this case, it made it taller, or we could make it longer. So using the um, keyboard resize in our picture menu, it just lets you do that stuff um, using your keyboard. So I'm going to do the um, I'm using the downward facing arrow now, and you can see it's kind of like dragging it either up or down. It's getting um, taller. If I undo that, and then I can do um, just do one more of those. Uh, keyboard resize, I'm going to do it to the left or right. So now I'm using my left arrow key and it's getting smaller. Using my right arrow key, it's getting uh, bigger or longer, I should say. Okay, now we have one more, which is key, keyboard move. Um, and this just allows you to move your image using the keyboard. And before I show you that, I'm going to once again show you how I move images normally in OneNote. So I've selected my original image, and normally I would just use my mouse to drag it around and reposition it. And it works pretty well. But if for some reason you wanted to use your keyboard, you can do that. So now I can use my um, arrow keys, down, left, up, and right, to move the image around. And then I just have one little tip, which actually is not part of the picture menu, but I think it's really useful. When you're dragging images around, like if you watch me drag this, you can see it's kind of like uh, jerky. If you hold down the Alt key while you dry, drag, it will give you a nice smooth drag and a much more precise uh, placement. So again, here it is jerky without the Alt key. And I'm going to hold down the Alt key and you can see it's super smooth. So that's it. Those are all of the eight options on the picture menu. Um, if you have any questions or comments or something you want to see in more detail, leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer you. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button and let me know you like this by hitting the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.